fill factor is something you need to be aware of, and we really are starting to climb under the hood a little bit, and I'm going really kind of deep, kind of fast here, but if you can get this image, you can really help yourself tune your databases in a major way. When you use indexes in SQL Server, and we're not going to go into indexes per se in this course because it's really more of a programming design type issue, but from a database maintenance standpoint, you need to be aware of what's happening here. You're probably going to have indexes built on your database, and SQL Server uses what's called B-tree indexes, and basically these things tend to try to throw out at least 50% of the possible data every time it does a search, and I'll show you how. Let's say that we're looking for someone with the last name that starts with B. And so an index has been built on some data, and the first thing SQL does is it begins to divide this up, and so that it, it divides the data into two groups, A through K, L through Z. This is conceptual now. This is very simplistic. And it sees that if it's A through K to go to this side of the tree, if it's L through Z to go to this side, and so it goes to this side. Then at the next level, it has divided the data A to D and E to K, and it now knows to go this direction or that direction, and what it's looking for is that particular piece of information up here in, these, in this index level, and then it knows exactly where to go in the data page to find that particular piece of information. But notice what it's done, and I'm going to bring the rest of them in so you can see exactly what it did. As soon as it saw that it needed a B, it saw that it needed to go this way. Then it realized, okay, wait a minute. Now I need to go down this way. Here's the markers, and there could be many more levels of these down through here, okay? But it finally pointed it, and really what happened on this instance would be that it started here, traversed to here, got to here, and it pointed to this location right here where the data actually was. Now, that's the way the index trees work. Now, there is something that happens, though, and if you remember in the, another video, I talked about how SQL Server stores data, and I talked about how in the actual data pages, we can store our data, and if the more lines we can get here, the faster the reads are off of our extents, right? Just makes sense. Well, what happens, though, if, let me do a better job of this, what happens if we have a data page that's really full, a lot of rows packed into that data page? Now this means if all of our data pages are packed up like this, this means when we do a read, that's cool, right? We grab some data, and we grab it back in an extent, and we get a lot of data off of there. That's cool. But what happens when we need to now insert data? And let's say we need to insert a row right here, and there's no more room on this page. Well, then we encounter what's called page splits because we have to take these two, move them over to the next page, right? Insert our row in here, and if there were two here, they need to move over to this page, and these need to move over to this page, and so forth, and it can go until we end up, we have to create a whole new data page over here and transfer some things over to it. So you start this leapfrogging of, of data page splits. Well, so here's our choices. Always in databases we have a choice, but between reading or writing data. So here's what we can do. If this is going to be a database where we read a lot from, then we want to pack the data pages as tight as we can with data. If it's a database we're going to write to, then we only want to fill the data pages maybe 75% full, right? And so every page has room for more data. Does that make sense? And so now, if we need to do an insert, we can do an insert here, and we can do an insert here, and we can do another insert on this page without causing page splits, and it makes data updates or inserts go really quickly. And the way we do that is we set the fill factor when we rebuild our indexes. And I'm only telling you this as reference, and I'll, and I'll direct you to go out to the documentation, because the fill factor is only recalculated when the index is first built or when it's dropped and rebuilt. So part of your database maintenance plan, then, is going to be to rebuild those indexes, because that redoes the fill factor. Now, how do I know how tightly my data pages are packed and how much space I have available? Well, in the next video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest store procedures that you have, or the, the coolest tools that you have, and it's a very simple little command called dbcc show contig, and it will show you how to read these things and how to understand what kind of shape 
your data pages are actually uh, residing in at that time. And you can use these to help determine exactly how to go about tuning your database for optimal results throughout the business day.